Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, Building a Life. And it is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 21 through 29. A Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the one who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. And when Jesus finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. Matthew chapter 7, verse 27 reads, And great was the fall of it. In our text for today, Jesus said this. This is Jesus' description of the house that was built on sand. This is also a description of a life that's built on a foundation that's apart from his word. Those who build houses like that often believe that they're building on solid ground. They stick to other things because they know what counts in this world, money. So they lay a solid ground of tangible assets. Their lives rest on that ground. They believe that they definitely haven't built any castles in the sand. Yet their house will fall, and the fall will be great. Some of these houses fall apart during the owner's lifetime, and some of the houses stand year after year. Everything would have gone as planned if it were only a question of the economy, However, this passage is about a different kind of building. Building a life. Something that we received from God and will someday give back to him. That's the building that helplessly falls apart if you hear but don't do. Or do neither one. The rain fell just as Jesus tells us. It can really rain in Palestine. Wide and muddy rivers stream down the mountainsides, dragging gravel and dirt and tearing apart everything that comes in its way. At times like these, it's not safe even to be sitting inside of a house and listening to the rain patter on the roof. Instead, anxious questions come. Is the wall going to cave in? Will the roof fall down upon us? This is the kind of house we're living in. You could try to pretend that it just isn't so. You've taken care of your money, but the years go by and you can't help but notice the cracks that are developing in your house. You try to fix it. Works for a while with cosmetics, dyeing your hair, rejuvenating shots, and occupational therapy. Then, however, comes the tidal wave. Death makes its mark. 
The poor soul crawls into a corner and refuses to believe that it's finally over. The end comes, however, and yet it's not really over. A naked, wretched soul wanders toward the final reckoning, and here he meets another river, more powerful than any other. It's the river of eternity that's spoken about in Psalm 46, verse 4. Whose streams make glad the city of God. Now, another storm is brewing. The breath from the four winds that breathes upon these slain that they may live. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 9. Everything that doesn't belong to Christ is swept away. However, everyone who has faith in Christ will rise up and sing and rejoice in the coming of the Lord. It turns out there is a dwelling place that isn't made by hand. It's a building that comes from God. It rests on the rock, Jesus, and not even the gates of hell are too much for it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you've said you will lay a chosen cornerstone in Zion, and whoever believes in it will never be disgraced. We know that cornerstone is the Savior, he who was rejected by men, but whom you turned into a rock and a fortress that will stand forever and ever. Now here we come and pray that our whole life and our deeds may be built upon that rock. May we always first seek your kingdom and your righteousness. We know now that we'll receive everything else if we build upon your rock. Jesus, in Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.